Ohio State convincing Georgia as you'd expect Michigan blasting through another victory of course Ohio State Michigan play in a couple weeks one of them will lose and, and fall behind and TCU if they keep winning there, there's no issue there's nothing to spook them nobody's gonna come in what about if you know they're skittish yeah. they're still skittish thinking they're gonna find a way to get this? excluded what about LSU what could can you tell them to relax I, win out if they in. win they're, yeah yeah you know and we we're talking this morning what what if they keep playing and they were to lose a close one and they win the Big 12 you know what if they lost to Baylor and they won the Big 12 and they're they're 12 and 1 you know there's some people that still would say depending on what happens around them you could maybe still make a case for them I think but, they'd be very uncomfortable with the loss yeah, they just keep winning and there's no discussion for TCU they'll but you gotta I mean, still it's not like it's a given it's still got a long way to go you gotta deal with the pressure that's what makes November so exciting in early December no doubt, but they played tight a week ago at home against Texas Tech. They played solid tonight, although Duggan just drops the ball and scooped up on the Longhorns. Dead A. Barron with a scoop and score. A shocking play, and Texas still has life. Wow. We're talking about TCU in the playoff and just win and just like that. This thing has changed with 425 to play. Nobody got penetration and knocked that ball loose. You know, I, I thought maybe it was a bad, it all happened so fast. I thought maybe it was a bad snap. I thought maybe a defender got in there. I think they just, they, they you know, on the mesh, they just lost the football. Barron had a rough game against Oklahoma State and lost bounce back strong against Kansas State. It's a big play. The first touchdown for Texas tonight comes from the defense.